Yo, what's up? Eric Wong here from PowerDojo.com and today I've got a great drill for you that's going to help you to develop your speed. Okay, so that's a question I get asked quite often is how to get faster, particularly with the hands, but this is going to be a drill that we're going to work on that's going to improve your speed in your lower body, your legs, your hips, but the concepts that I'm going to teach you within this drill apply to the hands as well. So if you're wanting to throw faster your hands, this is a drill that you could just take the, the principles, the components, the concepts, and apply it to hitting the heavy bag or the pads or whatever it is that you're working on, okay? But it's very easy to do here because we need no equipment and it's doing something that we've all done, which is run, okay? Run on the spot particularly, okay? So one of the things with speed, you can only be fast if you are relaxed, okay? If you've got excessive tension, think about it. Contract all your muscles like you're, I don't know, trying to take a huge dump because you ate too many protein bars. Okay, contract them all and imagine like how fast could you, like how fast could you run? You can't run that fast, you're, su you're too tight, you're too rigid, you can't flow, okay? To be fast, you gotta be relaxed. That is one of the core principles. With that, with the speed run on the spot, one of the problems that a lot of people run into when they try to work speed is they go from zero to 100 like that and that's kind of what they work on. And, in doing that and thinking, okay, I gotta go as fast as possible, automatically there's tension there. It's like, oh, I gotta max out and go as fast as possible and contract my muscles super fat hard and all this stuff. And that, it's an unconscious thought, but what happens is there is that creates a lot of tension. So what I like to do with this drill particularly, it's a high knee run on the spot and then you actually go once you go in fast, which we'll show you in a sec, but you start off slow, okay? You start off real slow, real slow and then you speed up and during that ramp up period your focus number one focus is to stay relaxed okay so you're not tensing up you're not thinking about oh okay I gotta move super fast you're just okay I'm relaxed relaxed getting the knees up getting the knees up and then you increase the speed okay until you're going full speed and then you go so this is what it looks like enough talk I don't have a lot of room here usually I do this I got more room but that's okay so you go Okay, see what happened there? Let me go this way for you, okay? Don't worry, I haven't left you. You're relaxed, breathing. See, I'm recovering, I'm not huffing puffing because I was holding my breath during that. The whole time here, I'm relaxed, okay? One fast, stay relaxed, and go on. Oh, nice and loose, like it never happened. Okay, so that's the speed high knee run on the spot. It's going to teach you how to stay relaxed, ramp up your speed without ramping up your tension. Okay, so like I said, that applies the hand, so you're nice and loose on the heavy bag. And then you're going fast, okay? You just ramp it up. Breathing, not holding your breath. Not, you know, your face is all scrunched up. You're not even doing anything, okay? Nice and loose like it's not even happening. This is every day. Imagine you're fighting somebody and they're just chilling and then all of a sudden, wham, they hit you and they're just chilling. It's like nothing happened. That's a dangerous man right there. Okay, so you want to be that person. Nice and relaxed, nice and loose. Like that, okay? That's what's up today. Be fast, be relaxed. It's gonna help you out a lot in your martial arts and your fitness training, running, sprints, all that good stuff. All right, Eric Wong from PowerDojo.com. Make sure you subscribe, visit my site, hit me up. All right, talk to you next time, peace.